Well, thanks very much. I'm very pleased to be back at this uh, important event. And I want to begin by acknowledging that we meet on the traditional lands of the Noongar people. And I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. And thank Jeff for his introduction and uh, uh, the welcome that he's provided to all of us. And I also want to join and uh, welcome you along to the uh, Geological Survey of Western Australia's Open Day. And I'm sure that you'll hear uh, many interesting presentations uh, today on the range of geoscience programs uh, that uh, we have here uh, sponsored by the Geological Survey. I hope you get much out of it. I, I've already had the chance to just have a look at some of the presentations uh, here and uh, I know that uh, they're very uh, interesting and show the great work that's being done in geoscience here in Western Australia. We know that Western Australia is the home to one of the globe's most uh, advanced uh, mining sectors. We know that we're a global leader in mining because we're able to apply technology to solve, uh, solve the problems of our industry, including the challenge of finding new resources. You think about uh, how lucky we are here in Western Australia to be a global leader in iron ore and lithium, the second largest exporter of LNG, and amongst the top five producers of gold, nickel, alumina, cobalt, uh, rare earths and salt. <laughs> Pretty remarkable achievement. Uh, we're also a major supplier of mineral sands. Last year, last uh, financial year, we set a new record for uh, resource industry sales from Western Australia with $210 billion of uh, sales uh, from our sector last for, uh, financial year and uh, an extra 14,000 people came into the industry um, to another record uh, for employment levels as well. And that's been done during this period of the COVID uh, global pandemic and we are very pleased, the Government of Western Australia is very pleased with the way the industries work together with government and the workforce to keep Western Australia's resource sector safe and strong over that uh, 12 month period. We've also seen exploration expenditure uh, reach a nine year high uh, and that wasn't to be expected. When COVID started last year, we actually thought that the exploration sector would be very badly affected in a negative sense. And we weren't expecting that it would actually be uh, one of the best years ever. Because the Government of Western Australia absolutely understands the connection between discoveries and the, and the strong future industry. We know that with only about one in every hundred mineral exploration projects leading to a mine that we have to continue to support uh, geological, the geological survey, early stage geoscience, pre-competitive geoscience work, as well as early stage exploration activity. And of course, um, we're very pleased to see the geolog geological survey continue to develop a wealth of high quality free geoscience information for use by explorers, resource companies and researchers. And I'm very pleased to say that the Exploration Incentive Scheme has received a 25% increase in its budget from $10 million to $12.5 million a year in this year's uh, budget. And the most recent round of the EIS co-funded drilling has seen 51 projects uh, successful in receiving funding uh, in this round. We've also seen uh, the Minerals Research Institute of Western Australia put on a sustainable uh, financial basis. Uh, and uh, I'm pleased to see its continuing portfolio of research supporting mineral exploration in Western Australia under its Finding More Viable Resources Research Program. We've also seen the government commit $3.2 million for the purchase of the Kamika IMS 1300-HR3 uh, uh, ion microprobe, my favourite piece of equipment in Western Australia, that will be uh, uh, housed at, uh, at uh, Curtin University. And of course we've seen the uh, successful work on the Joe, Claw, Claw Law, Joe Lord Core Library, try that again, uh, that's uh, seen the expansion of that library in Kalgoorlie to make sure that we can continue to have uh, explorers accessing the uh, core there in Kalgoorlie. In March this year we announced uh, as 
part of our uh, WA Jobs Plan during the election campaign, a $37.4 million investment to supercharge exploration through digital transformation. The investment will allow the Department of Mines, Industry Regulation and Safety to modernise its IT systems and expand its data collection capability. As a key part of that is a $10.6 million commitment to fast track implementation of the GSWA's Geoscience Data Transformation Strategy. The strategy will be implemented over the next four years and is designed to keep pace with modern digitally enabled exploration demands. It will transform billions of dollars worth of, of uh, geoscience information into intelligent data amenable to machine learning and AI analysis techniques. Uh, the Geological Survey tell me that uh, they have twice as much data not available in digital format than that is that's available in digital format. So this geological uh, data transformation strategy means there'll be a 200% increase in the amount of data available uh, for uh, these new uh, techniques of exploration um, so that uh, we, we would expect that to be a, a major step forward for explorers. So we know that we need to continue to invest in the exploration sector. We need to continue to invest into ge uh, pre-competitive geoscience data acquisition so that Western Australia can continue to be uh, a, the leading global jurisdiction for mining. The Government of Western Australia has a keen understanding of the connection between exploration activity and finding new resources and the finding new resources feeding into a sustainable uh, mining sector. So that's why I personally as Minister for Mines and Petroleum are so uh, determined to support the Geological Survey and I want to thank you all for your interest in today's open day and I hope that you get uh, a great deal of value out of this event. Thank you all very much.